great let's uh, move forward okay next pattern looks something like this suddenly my shape changed my shape didn't change shape of the pattern changed from rectangular pattern now clearly one can see i have got a triangular pattern now how can you solve this triangular pattern what can be the logic of it okay so first of all whether it is rectangle or whether it is triangle whether it is diamond whether it is rhombus one thing which will be fixed in every pattern is there will be rows there will be columns that is fixed boss now in what in which row how many columns get printed with what it gets printed may change but rows and columns are fixed i and j is fixed i hope you are able to understand which means even now structurally it is one loop inside another i hope you are able to understand so however here i'll go remove that int count int count equal to i plus 1 and uh, i'll remove the uh, yeah that also i'll remove that system not out dot print also i'll remove all this I'll remove. okay good guys <coughs> now let's start first of all look at this there are five rows zero to less than n five is zero to four in every row in every row are there five columns yes sir some of you may say no don't look here don't think these are spaces what i'm saying is in my first row there is only one column in my second row there are only two columns in my third row three columns in my fourth row four columns in my fifth row i have five columns in other words i don't have same number of columns in every row when you have same number of columns in every row only you get your rectangular pattern you get your square like pattern are you able to think but a triangle doesn't have the same number of stars in every row which means rows is correct but when it comes to column every row has minimum one column but maximum how many columns is not less than n so this condition n i will that less than n i will remove remove that condition completely what should be put here is a question we will arrive at it okay now if you notice in the zero row there is one column in the second row two columns third row three columns fourth row fourth columns fifth row five columns in other words the number of columns or one more way to look at it is the number of stars in each column is equal to the number of the row that's what i am also showing see here 0 0 1 1 1 1 2 2 3 3 i will think similarly 4 and 4 i hope you able to understand which means in a row how many columns or how many stars should be there is actually equal to the row number itself if row number is 0 0 columns if row number is 1 1 till 1 when i say 1 you must understand i'm talking about two columns two if it is the second uh, row that many columns third row that many columns fourth row that many columns in other words in conclusion what i'm trying to say is that the number of stars or number of columns is equal to the number of the row row is i column is j so what does this mean let us look at this i equal to 0 for the zero row i will enter for the zero row how many columns should be there one column which means this j value should go from 0 till 0 0 till 0 means one column i hope you able to understand how will i write condition simple see j is less than or equal to i i is my row so if i is 0 this is 0 0 first time in j is equal to 0 is 0 less than equal to 0 true enter after entering i will print one star by telling system dot out dot print i'll print one star print one star one star will get printed next semicolon always you forget okay next j plus plus means j value will become 
Is 1 less than equal to 0? No. Condition is false. You will come outside. So how many stars got printed? Just one. System.out.println. Cursor comes to the next line. You are within a loop. I plus plus. I value now becomes 1. I is 1. Now J starts from 0. Is 0 less than equal to 1? Yes. Yes means print 1 star. J plus plus. J value becomes 1. Because it's starting from 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Is 1 less than equal to 1? Yes. Yes means enter. Print 1 star. J plus plus. What will happen? J value will now increase. And it will become 2. Is 2 less than equal to 1? False. False means you will come outside. How many stars? 2 stars. Similarly for second row, you will print till 2. For third row, you will print till 3. For fourth row, you will print till 4. Now you are able to understand. Sir, will this work, sir? Let's see. So what I'll do is I'll make that n value as 10 so that it looks a little big, you know. It looks a little big. Hmm? Anyways, our loop will adjust itself. If I go and if in case I compile it, no issues. If in case I execute it, you can see. So what you have got is a right angle triangle. 